Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be like an Amazon Prime um, Barbie box opening. I did receive the box completely crushed because it, the box was not crushed, but the um, the actual doll was shipped to me crushed. The whole bottom of it was crushed, so I had to open her unfortunately. And this is this She Said Yes um, set from, from um, Amazon Prime. And I did the trial period, and they shipped me a damaged doll, so I will not be paying that ten dollars a month just to get free shipping and handling to receive a damaged doll. And the, the other doll was shipped in a bubble mail bag. If you guys don't know, I mean, with Amazon Prime, it's definitely, to me, in my opinion, not worth it. You get the free shipping and handling, or you pay for the shipping and, and handling, and they put bubble wrap around it. I mean, there's a big difference there. So, um, I'm gonna show you the dolls, and this is um Ken from that collection they, they do have very very hollow bodies from this doll set um so yeah we're gonna show you Ken I don't do very 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 many Ken dolls review reviews so this is gonna be different so this is Ken right here you guys very cute though he's got a little kissy mark from Barbie that's so cute I never even seen that but that is adorable um he's got very very rock hard gelled hair um, he's got a little watch right here, which I think is so cute. This is his little watch thing right here, or Fitbit, whatever you want to call it. Watch thing happening right there. Very cute swimsuit, though. It's nylon-y type swimsuit kind of thing happening. So it's waterproof, definitely. Um, his posability is pretty awesome, too. This is the swimsuit right here. And he can actually look. He can pivot out a little bit. A little bit, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? A little bit. A little bit of pivoting action right there. Um, he looks pretty sweet though. I don't own, own a lot of man dolls, not unless they come with Barbie. That's just my preference. So this is a polyester, you know. If you guys can hear that, it is polyester, so it's quick drying material, so it's good for beach and for water play, definitely, with this doll especially. This is not a, intended on being a collector doll line, but I wanted to collect them and keep them in the box. But unfortunately, I did receive it, um, receive it damaged, but it's not worth it to send it back for me because like, you're not going to find it anywhere for $17 with free shipping and handling. And then I was told to at the time, too, they even sold for even $5. So, I mean, ooh, Lord have mercy. He's got a ton of gel in this here. I mean, it's a little styled weird. It's like flipped up. I don't get it, but okay. But that is the cutest thing ever. This is Ken right here. He's very, very hollow. I want to say like he's made out of the same, um, you know, dolls that they're making today, Barbie today, hollow plastic bodies. It's basically the same material. I mean, over and over and over. And this bar, and he comes with little cute little shoes. I want to show you this too. Also, his flip flops fit him very well. I was very surprised about it. Of course, it's a Mattel doll, so they come with little cute little flip flops. This one's a little bit wonky. Oh, I have them. They have a right and a left foot. That's crazy. Why would they have that? So they have a right and a left foot, you guys. So this is the um, flip flops right here. Very cute. Very ready for beach. It's even got the little grip things on the bottom. How cute is that? So these dolls would be perfect for the beach, obviously. They're meant to be a play lawn doll. And I think that's awesome. Now, as far as Barbie was concerned, when I was opening her, um, I seen this, like, stickiness in the back. Like, you could see it right here. You could tell where she was right here. And this is from glue seepage. I think from being in really heated environments, whatever glue that's inside the head melts and it comes out the scalp. So, so I'm dealing with that right now. I just opened her two minutes ago, and it's really a shame that, that this happened to her. But she's got some little stickiness happening back here. I don't know if you guys would be able to tell, but probably not. She's got huge uh, Sasquatch feet, too. That's the only thing I wanted to mention to you. Um, this is her little feet right here. She's got huge, gigantic Barbie doll feet. I mean, it's crazy huge. I'm going to get a high heel shoe to compare it to. So you could see how great. Like, she's not going to fit in any Barbie shoes whatsoever. No flats, no nothing, no heels. Like, this is a Barbie flat, and this is her feet right here. Look. I don't know how to do a comparison, really. I hope you guys can see this. But, um, yeah, so she's not going to even fit in any of these shoes. It's just saying. 
Like, I was thinking, like, okay, it's a Barbie. You know, she's going to fit in Barbie doll clothing. No, it's not the case with this one. I wish I could just actually put this shoe on so, so I can do a really good thing for you guys. But it's like, it's hard to do a comparison when you have one hand. Yeah, oh, shoot. But, um, it's just, just take my word for it, you guys. She's got humongous Barbie feet. Like, okay, let me, let me get the maid to move doll so I could show you. That would be a good comparison thing. So this is a regular Barbie foot, and this is hers. She's got huge feet, you guys. Humongous. You see how big that's like? Okay, she's got the same kind of feet as Ken, like, basically. That's that's what I'm doing a comparison video. Like, she's got the same kind of type of uh, feet as Ken, which is crazy to me. I think I find it odd. Like, why would they make this doll right here not fit in any Barbie sh um, things? But thank God she at least comes with a pair of sandals. The sandals fit her good, though. I keep the sandals off. This is very much a beach doll. I mean, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And she's got some weird earrings on right now. That's all crazy right now. But this is supposed to be like a, um, you know what I'm saying? Like a really cool, look all the stitching, how nice that is though. Very, very cute. She's got all this really pretty stitching. It does have the clear straps on this. This would have corroded right here. This is this would probably be the first thing to corrode, which is these clear stitches. But um, she's supposed to be like that 1959 Barbie, like of today, I guess you could say. Those are the really cool glasses right there. But there's it's just so weird how they would make a doll with huge feet and not being able to fit in right. Would you? I don't know. I don't. Well. I think she has a regular Barbie bust, but she's a lot larger. Is she bigger than a Barbie doll? I want to see. Hold on. Let me stand you next to a regular Barbie and see how big you are. Yeah, she's got a bigger face, bigger arms, bigger legs, and bigger feet. That's crazy. So, I don't, you guys would have to buy her and try on, you know, clothes and different things. But as far as shoes... She she has huge Sasquatch feet, and she's not going to be able to fit in anything. That's so sad, though. Why would they do that? Like, you, you can make a flat to a girl, but it's like that to not be able to fit in any Barbie clothes, like, she's going to be strictly a beach doll, basically. Um, And besides that, she's got a little bit of seepage happening. I'm kind of opening up her scalp a little bit because she had a little bit, bit of seepage, you know, in the back. I'm assuming that they keep all these dolls in a hot warehouse because, I mean, why, why would you keep them in air condition? Because it's still new, I guess you could say. But, I mean, as far as this doll is concerned, she just looks weird, though, in general. But um, this is this was just a very, very gimmicky doll, you guys. She got the mom used body. She is very, very hollow. I mean, she's plastic, basically. That's what all the dolls are made of today. They're not made of rubber anymore, unfortunately. But she still is a very, very cute doll. I mean, she's pretty nice quality, considering the fact that she was $17. She can sit and stand with ease. But the only thing is that she won't be able to fit in any Barbie shoes because of her, of her feet being so huge. She's got a larger foot. She's got a kin size foot, basically. I mean, just humongous. I mean, I can't get over that. I wish you, I wish I, you guys can see this though. I don't know how to do like a, like a, let me see, maybe I can, let me take her shoe off so you guys can see. Cause even though she's like a made to move doll, she still has like a normal size Barbie feet basically, basically, you know what I'm saying? See, this is her foot and this, let me get, kind of put them together. Okay. So this is her foot and this is a, this is a Barbie foot. You see how big it is? It's crazy huge. That's insane. So she's not going to be able to fit in anything. This is a regular size Barbie foot, and this is her foot. You see what I'm saying? She's got huge Sasquatch feet. Like, what is she going to fit in? Like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't be good for anything but beach playing or collectors. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do, will you be buying her? She said She's called Barbie. She said yes. It's a gift set. If you guys can get it in the packaging, I would highly recommend you keep her in the box because she's not going to be able to fit in anything, first of all. So it wouldn't make any sense to take her out of the box not unless you have a nice, you know, collection or you have something to display her in. I think that would be a really nice addition to your collection. 
Um, she's good for play and good for beach. Um, she's made for the water, obviously, because she's very, very light and hollowy. Um, she's got a glue seepage problem, so if you do buy her and she's still brain in the box, there will be some glue seepage. So, I mean, as long as you don't see the glue seepage, I mean, she should be okay. But, I mean, what do you guys think of this doll? Leave some comments down below. Just remember to like and subscribe. And you'll see more doll videos. Bye.